that's a strong colony swarm twice in a week so hey guys welcome back to the channel um, we're just gonna do an inspection as you can see if you saw the video last time we've got two hives well big surprise we've actually got three um, the same colony the same colony swarmed twice in a week this big colony swarmed twice in a week so I was lucky enough to catch both swarms so I've got one swarm in here and then one swarm in that small hive at the back beetles if you see any beetles bash them in the head it gives the gives them a, a helping hand the bees so first thing we're going to do we see what the honey production has been like on this hive uh, because they've had a whole week to be, to get busy let's see how busy they've been getting not many bees up on this top that's all well, let's take a look and see how they've been doing like I say it's been a week we got some, a little bit of weight on there and it yeah it's full of honey but not 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 capped so let's go go close to the middle if they've got anything capped off closer so I can see some capped off but so they started capping it off but nowhere near ready to be taken any of them so we're gonna take this uh, take this off and we'll look at the one below see what they may or may not have going on with that one. We're not busy with the propolis again. whether they swarmed and I missed it because there are nowhere near the amount of bees that there was I wonder if they swarmed while we were out of town and we just missed it nothing's capped over we've started Happen, but I think I think we missed a swarm. We really do. Sorry, Miss B. Look back down there. I do have a swarm set trap, a swarm trap set up on the other side of the property. And I'm pretty sure they didn't swarm into that, or I would have noticed. But it's probably same sort of state as what it was the last time I was in. So I think I missed a swarm. Let's see. 
last time when I went into the brood chamber, there were so many bees that when I would open, taking the frames out, the bees were literally falling out of the frames. And as you can see, yeah, not many bees there at all. Yeah, there's nowhere near as many bees. We missed a swarm. We went out of town last week. My guess is, while we were out of town, they swarmed. When I opened this up two weeks ago, bees were literally falling off. And you can see that there's nowhere near. They swarmed, we missed them. We got capped off honey. And look, what I'm going to do now is look for eggs. We've got pollen. Do you hold that yeah, one? Yeah, that's a drone. Mm, no, that's a drone. Um, let me get this on. <laughs> yeah, there's, they swarmed. There was 60, no, there was 60,000 bees in here the last time I was in. And as you can see, there's nowhere near that now. So a couple of things we're going to be looking for is a queen cup. And there's one right there at the bottom. I don't know whether you guys can see it. There's a, a closed queen cup. Can you see there? That one? Yeah, that's a closed queen cup. So there's a queen inside there. So, my guess is they're also queenless. My guess is they are also queenless. So they've been very, they've been very happy, or not unhappy, to say they're. I believe they're queenless. And so sometimes when they're queenless, they can be a bit antsy. Based on, uh, uh, they swarmed and they swarmed big. There's another cup there that's not sealed. There's one there that is not sealed and there's nothing in it. And I can actually see in that one. Don't think there's anything in it. I was just going to be annoyed. I, I was hoping that I would be able to take some brood out of here and put in the small colony at the back because when they swarmed, weirdly, they swarmed as two different balls. And there's another cup that's not closed up. And I'm seeing Well there's no eggs. Where are you seeing a queen? There's no brood whatsoever. Well, take it from me and and have a look. You got it? Just try and stay over the hive though. Don't to go too far. I think the queenless. There's no brood at all, no eggs, and I'm right in the centre of the of the uh, colony. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah this should be full of brood it used to be full of brood and there is zero brood they are queenless right now another cup, cup there that is sealed you see it there to to my right on the bottom there that's another cup capped sealed one there's one that's got royal jelly in another cup but it's not capped you guys won't be able to see it but i can see down inside it there is royal jelly in there so they are definitely that big one right there? where are you looking in that center that one that big one right there there no he's crawling toward the wood you will know the queen she's much much bigger there isn't a queen in here Take there isn't a queen in here. I know that. Come on. Move that one back. So these are queenless. I'm going to go another couple of frames. Just in case they've got something going on on the other side, but I'm pretty sure they will not have. Like I said, two weeks ago, this box, this bottom brood box was absolutely filled with bees. No brood. A little bit of cap honey more queen cells and they are not once capped two are not so no brood no brood no brood no brood that will get to it oh yeah they'll they'll birth a queen and she'll start laying straight away and i see another queen cap The drone, we've got pollen. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these ladies alone now. They are queenless. Big swarm. Must have done it while we were out of town. And we missed it. Didn't go into our swarm trap. Three swarms from one hive. Yeah, it was a big healthy hive. This was the overwintered hive. So I'm going to put this one back together. I'm going to put some small hive beetle traps in the other two hives. With that queen excluded, but I'll put it on anyway. There ain't no queen in there. So I was going to try, give the little high some brood, but they ain't got them. Let's have a look. I was actually watching the, the hives last night. You want to tilt that camera this way just a bit, please? I was watching the hives last night and I thought to myself that this one was actually more active than the big one. And now I know why. Because the big one is warm. So this one is approximately um, three, just just short of, just shy of three weeks 
old. We know they have a queen because the last time I was in, I found her. So this, this was the original swarm that swarmed, number one swarm, with the queen. But they're still on only, I want to say three, three, three frames, completely empty. So there, I mean it's, it's early spring yet. As you can see, absolutely nothing. So they're still only on three frames, but let me see if they started producing brood. No, they're still building that one out. And that's the problem, I put that in. This was an unwaxed on that side, right? Do you see how they started building wax in weird shapes? That's because I forgot to wax it before I put it in. My fault. Um, I'm not seeing brood on that one. Let's have a look on another one. We're not going crazy with propolis because we're going into the warm spring. There's no panic. Oh, we got brood. That's a beautiful, beautiful uh, brood pattern both sides yeah these are in great shape that's that overwintered queen she's a great layer that one's that brood too yeah well let me check for the queen i might just put it back in i'm gonna put it back in i don't want i don't want to lose that queen at all so that's uh, such a good sign but I, I i wouldn't expect anything less because like i say that's the overwintered queen. Okay. Ton more worker brood. I, mean, I could almost take one off of here to put into the little hive. We got one. Obviously, two, two weeks ago they had zero brood. They had a queen and uh, thirty thousand, maybe twenty-five thousand bees. And that was two and a half weeks ago. That's. Uh, Commitment to survival for you. They will work like these, <laughs> funnily enough. And the last of the three frames. Again, lack of lack of uh, wax and more brood. I'm going to give. I'm going. Well, I'm going to take a look at this hive at the back. They've got three frames of brood, so they're doing a great job. Depending on how pathetic the back colony looks, because like I said, they swarmed, but they swarmed into two balls. I was lucky enough to get one of the balls into the trap. Um, um, and then... With the hat, the trap. Oh yeah, thank you for reminding me. Let's put a hive beetle drum in this one. This is just a bit of vegetable oil, the basil corral. Any uh, basil corral, any of the beetles into it and then they just they just drowned well i've got to take that bird comb off and they'll just they'll just start repairing it some bees will come with me the majority will stay here i need that uh, bee receptacle i know ladies it's the annoying guy just clean up that honey they'll clean it up straight away close that jar every time I don't know why 
we got Burke on. I do not know why we got Burke on, but let's see if we can save as many bees as we can. Grab it. That's it. There you are. Grab it. That bit that fell on the floor, grab that one as well. Because we don't want to invite robber bees around. And they will if they smell it. They'd probably, they'll take care of that straight away. So these girls are doing fabulous. Very, very happy with the how they're coming along. Three frames of brood. Three frames of brood in three weeks. They're going to end up a real healthy hive so let's have a look at the little one like I said they swarmed twice in a week that was the first swarm they swarmed again I was lucky enough they went into a tree I was able to access but this one there was two balls and I've got I took some pictures and I'll put them up um, I spoke to a beekeeper Uh, that was a bigger beak even than I and he had never heard of them swarming on two balls because usually they'll swarm these are doing these are doing great usually when they swarm they will only ball around a queen now did they birth two queens I don't think so I don't know they are the most antsy because they're not used to me. Those, those other bees are. I know, ladies. It's him again. I know that there's nothing going to be on these frames. I'm just taking them out to make some room to move around. All right, ladies, how's it going? So I can see. Comb production. Well, they've been a little bit busy. We're building comb up. This one is not waxed. But they're doing all right for now, so I'm going to leave it in. What I'm looking for is a queen. They did ball around something, you know. We got honey. Do you want to come and stay? Oh, you are. We're looking for a potential queen. Some pollen and nectar. Anything? See anything? Your eyes are much better than mine. You can tell me. Well, this is the big, biggest frame. This is the biggest frame. So she may well be on here. Sorry, sorry ladies. See where they've gone weird with the comb? Mm -hmm. See, see how they're doing the dance? Mm -hmm. Can you see a queen anywhere? 
the funny. Is she hiding from us? Or did we miss one of different frame? How they fun. Sends out a pheromone to all the other bees in, in and outside of the hive. Let's go through them one more time, see if we missed her. Well, I'm like it's our first year, so I, I, you, I would think not. However, queenless hives happen all the time. They need, they need brood in order to create a queen cell. I'm not seeing. I'm going to the, the bases of making a hive. She could be on the wall inside, but usually you'd find her on the center frames. So what happened on when they did when they swarmed with on when they swarmed on two balls the uh, the second ball actually returned to the hive number 1 but they have definitely uh, swarmed since then I don't know that Well I can't see the queen guys so I guess I will leave them another 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 week and see what they do we'll make sure these are yeah they're waxed well that's about all i can do today ladies that's all i can do today well you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put you at the center I'm going to put you at the center. I don't want you to just grow out. Well, I will see you in a week, ladies, and we'll see how you're getting on then. You were on the on the roof. We'll see you in a week. And that's about it, guys. Like I said, that's all I can do today. Take a look. And that's the importance of weekly inspections. We went out of town. And the big, uh, the big hide definitely, definitely swarmed. It did. But uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos if you find them interesting. Do subscribe, it does help us greatly with uh, Facebook. 
uh, YouTube, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.